Hi everybody, my name's Andrew and I'm going to be talking to you about the remix I did of the song Skyline by You and What Army. I did everything for this remix using Reason 5 and Record 1.5. My favorite part of this song is uh, the white noise, so I'm going to be showing you how I created that and how I used it throughout the song. Alright, so let's get started. First off, we're going to need to make the white noise, so we're going to go here to the rack, open a combinator, name it, then we're going to add line mixer, 6 to 2, and we're going to add NN19 digital sampler, open up the file here. And in 19 sampler patches, and I chose to go under the synth raw elements here. And there is several noise patches which you could use, but I chose to use this top one here, the raw 2600. And then I didn't change anything else on the sampler. But we're going to go ahead and add an M class equalizer. And then in param 1, we're going to take this to about 540. Hold down shift to get a little bit more precision. That'll work. And then the gain, we're going to take all the way down. And then the Q down to 1. Param 2, leave the frequency where it is. Take the gain up to about 10, 10, 11 or so, and then take the Q right down to 1. And then the high shelf here, we're going to take that, we're going to leave the frequency, and then the gain, we're going to take that up to about 12.6, and then we'll leave the Q right where it is. And that just kind of helps bring out the highs a little bit better there. And then we'll also before we get going too crazy here, we'll turn it down in the mixer so it's not too loud. All right. All right, so next we're going to add a Thor and go ahead and open it up and we're gonna do all three noise oscillators those in run them through into a state variable filter and over here in the amp envelope we're gonna bring up the sustain all the way and then we're gonna add EQ so we'll start in param 2 take the frequency up to about 4.6 the gain take that to about 5.7 will do and then the Q we're gonna take down to about 1.7 will work and then the high shelf we'll do frequency about 3.8 the gain, we'll take that up 6.9 and then the Q we'll leave that right where it is alright so that about does it for the noise there but we're also gonna wanna add an RV7000 advanced reverb and then we'll uh, load a patch into there and I really like this all delay absorb patch sounds really good nice and white noisy there so that basically is the white noise And let's just go ahead and turn this reverb up here in the mixer to about halfway. All right. 
All right, so now let's go up to the programmer here on the combinator and set this up so we can filter in the white noise. So for rotary one, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the filter frequency on the NN19 right there. And then we'll just go ahead and label that. And then the Thor will put on rotary two and we'll put the filter one frequency on there and we'll label that. Okay. So now that that's done, we're gonna also wanna put a compressor on here because I'm gonna add some side chain compression to the white noise, which I think sounds really cool. So hold down shift and create an M class compressor. There we go. We'll bring it up here. And bring it right there. All right. All right. So now I suppose we should draw in some notes so you can actually hear the white noise. So we'll go ahead and put a bar in right there. And then we'll bring our loop player here. Okay. Just draw in a big long note there. Okay. So we'll also, while we're here, go ahead and draw in some filtering. Just click on the rotary there, hit edit automation for the NN19 filter, draw in a box, and then also do the same for the Thor. Draw in box there and then we'll click on it and just for fun we'll just kinda make it gradually go up it's not as precise how I had it in the song but you get the idea there we are so now if you solo it out and play it almost like being at the beach alright so let's add a little side chain compression here so we will flip this around and then let's uh... let's run this mixer into the compressor and back into the combinator here and then I will actually make another spider audio merger and splitter so you can see how I did it as you can see I already have two there which I'm already using for the bass and the white noise so throw in another one of those and then here's what I did so here in the master section I went um, and took this effects send and I hooked it up right here to the to the splitter and then I connected it to the side chain in the compressor so basically when I pull down my mixer I have one channel for my kick drum so the only thing coming out of this channel is a kick drum so therefore the only thing going the only signal going into this merger splitter is the kick drum signal and that sends it into the compressor here so then when we pull down 
the mixer you turn on the effects end and then you've got your level here if you just turn it all the way up and come down here and then we'll also want to set our compressor so that it will sidechain when we turn it on so go ahead and turn the attack all the way down the release all the way up and then the ratio to infinity and then however however hard you want your uh, synth to sidechain use the threshold I went to about here so you can really tell that that side chain is there and then we start it out right here and have a play here oops let me uh let me solo that out There you have it. The white noise is side chained. So now that you kind of see how I did it there, I'll show you in my song what it sounds like. So here's the white noise I have set up, and then you can see the filters filter up and down, which I think give it gives it a nice contrast when you're listening to it. And then here's probably my favorite part. So if we go ahead and have a listen here. I'm like a wheezy. So you see right there after the don't hold your breath is when the kick drum comes in and makes it really uh, makes it really cool sounding with that side chain. All right, so that about wraps it up for that tutorial. Also, uh, I'd just like to say here that another way to kind of control how noticeable the side chain is instead of just using the threshold here is you can also use this in uh, the mixer just raise the level up and down and if you notice here these top two I have one labeled medium side chain and one full side chain that was because uh, this one here I used for the bass and when I had it turned up all the way I didn't really like the way it sounded it was just too uh, too too much side chain it compressed it too much so it went about halfway it sounded a little better and then I used the other one for the white noise so, I appreciate you uh, watching my video. I hope you like my remix. And, uh, you know, any uh, comments or feedback you can give me is much appreciated. Thank you.